Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today is a beautiful day. It's sunny. It's 70 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. So we're going to be doing two cooks today. We're going to be doing a crawfish ball for the wife's birthday. Uh, I'm not going to do a video on that because you guys have seen us do crawfish boils before. But we're also going to be doing some spare ribs today, okay? And I'm going to be testing out these Crown Royal Premium Whiskey Barrel Pellets, all right? We've already tested the uh, wood chunks from Crown Royal, and I like those a lot. I gave them an 8.5 out of 10, okay? It gave some real nice flavor to the meat. So we're going to try these pellets out. If you look behind me, I got uh, my old Rec Tech back here. I've already emptied it out emptied it out of all the other pellets and we're going to fill it with these here we're going to let it roll today all right so i got these from home depot it was two 20 pound bags for 59 dollars. so i guess roughly 30 dollars a bag if you want to try these all right uh the features of these uh are the pellets are made from authentic crown royal uh retired whiskey barrels okay it's 100 percent wood um, it's supposed to give your food uh, flavors such as vanilla, caramel, and white oak. Uh, it's supposed to be really good on uh, meats, cheeses, and vegetables, all right? And uh, so, you know, their saying is now you can infuse the flavor of Crown Royal in your next barbecue. So we're going to try that out today, all right? So, so we're going to go ahead and fill up the, uh, the Rec Tech uh, Mini, and we're going to take a slab of ribs, I'm take the membrane off, I'm going to split them in half. I'm going to just cook one like we did in the previous cook. I'm going to cook one with no seasoning on it. It's just going to get smoked so we can taste the flavor of the smoke from the pellets. And the other one, we're going to use just simple SPG, and we're going to see how the flavor of the pellets interact with a, a simple seasoning, all right? So hang around, and let's go ahead and get this bad boy prepped up. Let's get the smoke flowing, and let's get the ribs on. <laughs> All right, guys, so the ribs have been on for five hours in the smoke. Oh, they looking nice. Let's go ahead and get these off, give them an opportunity to rest and uh, have a taste test. guys so i got two ribs here one off of the slab that didn't have any seasoning on it and of course one that had the spg on it we'll go ahead and take a 
taste of the one with just smoke. See if it did what it was supposed to do. I don't smell uh, the strong oakiness that I got when we used the Crown Royal Chunks. Um, the pellets don't seem to have given the same aroma. Now let's go ahead and have a taste. No, I barely taste uh, any of the, the oak, if any at all. Um, it doesn't have the same sweetness or the same unique flavor as the wood chunks, the Crown Royal wood chunks did. So uh, the pellets didn't do hardly anything except for act as a fuel source for the, for the uh, pellet cooker. Let's go ahead and taste the other one. All right, well, that's a, that's a decent rib, you know. It, it had the SPG on it, so it tastes like a, a, a normal smoked rib, but there was nothing unique about it as far as the Crown Royal pellets imparting any type of oakiness or vanilla flavor or any kind of robust added flavor into the meat. So uh, all it did was act as the primary fuel source for the pellet uh, cooker. So if that's the case, then uh, you... you be better off using some other brand if you want to impart some type of flavor into your meat uh, using pellets, okay? So if I had to rate the uh, Crown Royal uh, Premium Whiskey Barrel Pellets, uh, I would give it a five uh, because all it is is acting as a, a fuel source and not actually providing that unique aroma and flavor that we got from the Crown Royal wood chunks, okay? It might function better in a pellet tube versus as the primary fuel source. Uh, that way it has an opportunity to just smoke and not get burnt up in the process. We cooked these at 225 degrees and we cooked these for about five hours. So, uh, but there's really no smoke flavor in these whatsoever. So I'll give it a five, okay? So, well, that's all we have time for today. Hey, if you guys are interested in a Dow Strong Knife H, that's what we used in this video. Hey, check out uh, the link below. Uh, the Dow Strong affiliate link in the description block will give you 10% off your total Dow Strong order, okay? Uh, also, if you guys are interested in a Rectech grill, hey, check out Rectech.com. Fantastic grills, fantastic customer service, okay? Like I always tell you, they're built like a tank and they're built to last, all right? Hey, do us a favor. Hey, hit the like button on this video if you liked it. Comment and subscribe. You know, we love to have you as part of the community here. And uh, that way you can get notification, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we put new videos out, okay? And if you're looking for some Bad Beast merchandise, hey, check out uh, www.badbeastbarbecue.com, okay? Well, that's it. I'm going to finish enjoying this lovely day, drink a few more Modelo beers and hang out with a cigar, okay, and hang out with the wife. So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.